Greetings from Elite English Academy. Dear friends, in this video, I am going to discuss E.J. Pratt's poem, The Dying Eagle. So, lines 1 to 28. In general, people read a poem for two reasons. Number one, reading for pleasure. Number two, reading for examination. So when the people read a poem for pleasure, they concentrate more on the aesthetic aspects. For example, you may have the experience like this. When we listen to our favorite song a few times, whether we take deliberate effort or not, the lines get into our mind unconsciously. So the lines memorization is an unconscious process since we like a song well. Whereas when we read a poem for examination purpose, whether at school level, college level, university level or competitive exam like this, when we prepare, we are focusing more on the facts since we are not concentrating much on the finer aspects, aesthetic aspects of a poem, even recalling the related information becomes very difficult. Dear friends, my suggestion would be, read a poem like a poem, so that learning will be very, very easy. As a part of this demonstration, I have analyzed the first 28 lines of this poem, and it is the textual analysis and the important poetic devices are also discussed. First, let's have a brief introduction about Edwin John Doe Pratt. He lived between 1882 and 1964. He was a Canadian poet who lived most of his life in Toronto. He is a three-time winner of the country's Governor General Award for Poetry. This is one of the most important information. He was called the foremost Canadian poet of the first half of the century. So here we understand that E.J. Pratt is an inevitable poet in Canada. Next, let me have a brief introduction about the poem, The Dying Eagle. It is one of the narrative poems. So what is a narrative poem? A narrative poem tells a story. It consists of a plot line. Here in this poem, an aged eagle was the undisputed monarch of its realm. So there is an eagle. So it is just ruling its kingdom. So the poem considers that it conveys a very important truth that change is the only inevitable thing which cannot be changed. So nothing can escape change. The change has to come. So everyone should be prepared to accept the change. So the nature's law according to this poem is world should be replaced by young and the new. So some people, especially who are in power, may think I am the ultimate authority. That may be true. At the same time, that fact also will be replaced in the course of the time. That's what the poem is trying to convey. The world was badly shocked because it never expected a change in its life. Especially the people who enjoy all the power in this world. They want to sustain that power till the end. But when something in a kind of change comes, they are not able to accept it. It is a shock for them. In addition to this, this poem conveys that everyone in this world has his own or her own time. So when the time comes to leave, one should not complain about the leaving. 
as long as you are occupying the throne you may control others but when your time for leaving comes you have to go gracefully that is the law of nature so the poet conveys that old should give way to the new otherwise it will lead to unnecessary remorse and sadness then this poem in one way can be considered as an allegory what is an allegory allegory has got two story lengths always at the surface level it may convey something but at the deeper level it has got its own meaning especially this poem at the superficial level it talks about an aged eagle which ruled the entire place now it is intruded by another bird so the eagle thinks that its power is intruded it it is losing its importance and authority so this is the superficial level meaning whereas inherently it has got deeper meaning so it talks about the world's power structure for example you take england once england ruled more than 50 countries across the world slowly it has lost its power now it is ruling its own england is ruling its own that's all so during the transition so the contemporary example can be the american election so there was an election the then president was defeated and he was trying to stop that to stop the election result so this is the thing the poet even this poem conveys or it is appealing even today's action when the world refuses to give way to the new it will lead to unnecessary problem so even today's world's incidents can be better understood through the lines of this poem and also at the deeper level the western influences amends and modifies the cultures values traditions faiths of native or indigenous religious and moral values this particular idea conveys that how post colonialism emerges of course the western rulers intruded into the native place and they try to give their own ideals their own culture so the east west conflict is also there then finally this poem discloses the experience of declining culture in the contemporary society so the culture how they experienced the age and the world is ignored how they are not given importance in the society so from this context if you analyze the poem line by line you can understand the poem in a better way so at the structural level this poem does not follow any pattern of rhymes this and that it is a narrative poem that's all now let me explain the poem line by line the dying eagle as the title suggests it talks about the eagle that is aged which is dying a light had gone out from his vanquished eye so vanquished means defeated defeated or just lost completely defeated his head so here the eagle is personified his head was cupped within the hunch of shoulders hunch refers to if you see a bird right if you see a bird so if the bird is not okay then now uh, it is just drooping its head so for example if human beings we walk if we if we watch a cricket batsman after getting out when he walks he will not walk like a king he will just uh, just uh, drooping his head he will be walking so like that this bird because of its old age it is sitting there and it has kept its head within the shoulders the very sitting position itself shows its old age his feathers were dull 
and bed draggled so bed draggled means dish shelves so normally the young birds used to have more feathers whereas this birds feathers it is fallen here and there in some places of the body there is no feather at all the tips of his wings sprawl down to the edge of his tail so here again the poet considers this eagle as a male human being right so then uh, continuously he is using his or he so the wings of the bird it looks like so sprawl down to the edge of his tail almost most of the important uh, feathers it has lost he was old it it was not his age which made him roost on the crags like a rain drenched raven on the branch of an oak in november right so the poet makes a open comparison it is a simile so how does the poet compare the old eagle to another bird so he compares it to a raven rain drenched raven a wet uh, raven right so he was old yet it was not his age so the poet says the present time is not the time of the old eagle once it enjoyed enormous power but it has lost its power at present which made him roost on the crags roost means it is the resting place or the place where the bird especially the eagle has got its own nest crag crag means rock like a rain drenched raven on the branch of a oak in november so in november ravens they do not have closed nest so due to excessive rain raven used to get wet and uh, sit uh, shaking itself like that this old eagle is just unable to be bold so it is shivering like the old raven in the month of november so the first part very clearly indicates the old age of the eagle nor was it the night for there was an hour to go before sunset so the poet suddenly makes a twist so it is not the night time it is an hour to go sunset if the sun sets by 6 it is the time is 5 pm right 5 pm then at that time an iron had entered his soul and iron iron here refers to the fear the fear something uh, very cold entered his soul so something disturbing takes place to the eagle which breffet breffet means deprived of or sad lonely so it has nothing now his soul feels the loneliness which breffet him of fright and realm the poet says once when it was youthful when the eagle was youthful it was very proud and it was the ruler of that place had struck him today but that realm has been intruded something wrong is going to happen something bad has happened for up to the noon that crack had been his throne the poet says until this day up to the noon so he felt he was the ruler of that place but now something has happened to worry space was his empire there may be a question so what was considered as the empire of the eagle the space the entire kingdom over there bounded only by forests and sky and the flowing horizons horizons refers to so if there is sea right then uh, if you from the from this place if you look at you will have a distant view where the sea and sky meet 
so this particular part can be called as horizon right now he had outfought so he had outfought very beautiful phrase coinage the eagle thinks that it is defeated outfought outlet all his rivals of course so far he was the king so he defeated everyone outlived everyone that is he lives longer and he lives longer or longer than all his rivals all his fellow birds and the eagles that now were poised over glaciers are charting the coastal outlines of clouds where he is by descent so the poet conveys that the eagle has got so many hats so the eagles who are living in glaciers that is in mountain places then coastal outlines and everything right so they had their own connection with this aged bird they have been tumbled they have fallen out of their rocky nest by his mate in the first trial of their fledgling spins fledgling refers to the birds the mother bird normally gives practice to the young ones sometimes when the small ones make the first attempt to fly they fall down so the first few attempts for flying is called as fledglings right sometimes the birds who are having the nest on the rock at the top of the mountain so when they try to fly they fall down and they lose their health and they live there forever so most of his rivals they have lost their place or they have lost their kingdom but this eagle alone lives forever so so far this eagle is the undisputed ruler of that place only this morning the eyes of the monarch were held in arrest by a silver flash suddenly the poet says that so until today noon the eagle was the ruler but something has happened today afternoon what is that it was shocked it has seen a silver flash a bird like a silver flash has come shining between two peaks of the ranges so here there are two peaks so somewhere in between a bird is flying right quick it is like a flash a sight which galvanizes his back galvanize means something that has a protective shield galvanized something that has a protective shield but that protective his protected body is shivering bristled bristle means a short stiff hair on animal see sometimes if we are afraid our hair our hair will stand right especially on our body like that by seeing a new bird over there the feathers of this bird it is stiffening and short little runnels of dust were his talons runnels the word has got uh, different meanings which means it is a brook rill or here we have to understand it yes sweat sometimes when we are afraid so definitely something will be sweating like that after seeing a bird that flies like a flash it is sweating inside the feathers tarannals of dust where is talons talons means heels duck recesses in the granite right granite we can call it as there is a stone right so for see the bird old bird is watching or supervising the entire space the entire area by sitting in its nest but suddenly when a bird new bird intrudes into its space it couldn't understand it flies so fast so it sweats itself so it is obviously obviously 
the eagle is afraid who is that he wants to know but can he know because already he is old dear friends hope this video was useful to you the analysis of the remaining lines are available in the main course if you have any doubt or if you need any help feel free to call us thank you all the best